Great, thank you very much, John. Hi everyone, my name is Brenner Heinz from Confluent. Have you ever heard the joke about how if you send 10 salespeople into 10 different sales meetings, they'll find 15 different ways to sell your product? Your marketing team can spend months and months crafting the exact perfect messaging for your company and your product, but if no one repeats that information, what's the point? If when your salespeople go out into the field, all bets are off and no one's referencing the internal documents that you have about how you should speak about things, the scenarios in which you should say this and not this, then you sort of have a sales team that's gone wild. And that problem is why we built this. It's a real-time meeting coach system that listens to sales conversations and provides highly contextual, relevant, timely advice using your company's actual sales documents. So let me show you how it works and then I'll explain how we built it and we'll get into the architecture. So look what happens when a customer says this. Do you su provide support for difficult data migrations? How long do they usually take? In just a moment, you get a response back from the system that's based upon the ground truth of your knowledge documents. This system lists the sources that it retrieved from your corpus of knowledge documents, like an implementation concerns playbook. And then it talks about its reasoning for why it chose the specific parts of those documents that it did to inform its response. So in response to asking about these difficult data migrations, it says, I understand. We allow for a smooth transition within four to six weeks, typically, ensuring data integrity with rigorous checks. For example, Meridian Financial achieved full operational status in just five weeks. That was pulled directly from the documents that were provided to it. So essentially what we've built here is a real-time uh, retrieval augmented generation um, system that allows you to provide the best context and advice in the moment as possible. No more going off script or making things up. This is your official company messaging delivered at the exact moment that that messaging is needed and it really counts. So think about having a tool like this that instantly lets you absorb all your company's sales knowledge. It can read all your battle cards, your competitive sales documents, and gives reps the right information at the right time. Every company has a treasure trove of these documents, but they're typically not used that much, and they're only as good as gold if you use them. This basically gives a brand new salesperson a superpower when they have access to this sort of system. All of your company knowledge synthesized into the perfect advice for each specific customer situation. And it's always current and up to date because it's always using your latest documents. So this isn't just another chatbot. This system is always current, as I said, and it uses these simulated synthetic documents for our purposes that we created for a company called Insight CRM. And we provided lots of these documents. And as you can see, they're rather long. Some of them are anyway. And they have lots of information in them. But these are company specific and what works for this company may not work for yours. And that's the power of this as well, is that it's contextual information that makes your sales conversations that much smoother and more impactful. Because this system is context aware. It understands the whole conversation and it's practical. It really solves a real problem that costs companies millions of dollars in lost deals. And the technical side is impressive too. So here's what we built. There are two parts. There's, here's a pipeline architecture. There are two separate tracks to this. There's the knowledge processing track where we process and create embeddings and uh, vectorize your existing knowledge documents, those sales documents I talked about earlier. And then there's a query processing track where we take those things that your customer is saying in the chat or in a real meeting and in real time, we add those to the, to the RAG pipeline, 
create embeddings and do vector search on those documents based upon what we've uh, based upon what's been said in the meeting. And from there, we then take those most relevant documents and feed those to a prompt with an LLM where we say, extract the most useful parts of these relevant documents and include them in your message. And that's what we've done. So as I said earlier, we start with your sales knowledge, these sorts of documents, and every company has these. Using the Azure Blob Storage Source Connector, we read these markdown documents into the Kafka topic called Messages Prospect. That's the very first uh, topic that we show in that architecture diagram. Then we create embeddings, basically turning words into huge vectors that capture their meaning. We use Azure's OpenAI uh, Text Embedding Ada 2 model for this. Here you can see within the Azure AI Foundry, we've deployed three different models here. We're only using two for today's example. We're using text embedding ADA 2 to create those embeddings, both of the documents and the real-time messages. And we've, we're using GPT-40 Mini for the text generation in the final step. Words of the wise here, when you are deploying your models in Azure AI Foundry. Make sure you increase the quotas for the number of tokens. It starts with something super low, a quota of like a thousand tokens per minute, which you can chew through very, very quickly. Next, now that our large language models were all set up and deployed in Azure, we're ready to start processing documents for vector search. So Confluent Cloud has a cool feature called Flink Actions that allows us to do transformations on our data, including creating embeddings. And this is a pretty nifty feature because it means that uh, you don't have to learn the exact semantics in SQL of how to do these embeddings. We have a Flink Action that can do that for you. So if I hop over to the data portal and I find my original topic where we drop the documents, the, just the raw documents in, I can then click this button that says Actions. And from here, I can choose to transform my data. And one of these options is Create Embeddings. From here, I just choose which, uh, which column I want to create embeddings from. We're gonna do, of course, our document text. We have an output topic that we'll create. We'll create a new model here. We'll call it OpenAI2. We'll use Azure OpenAI. We've already set up a connection there and Flink SQL will use that connection to call out to this model and send data and receive back those embeddings. We'll use the existing connection that I just mentioned and we can even enable chunking of our documents. We can have about a chunk size of about maybe 400 uh, approximately tokens or um, characters and maybe we do an overlap of about 80, 20% or so. From there, all we have to do is uh, show SQL and we can grab that SQL that will create these embeddings for us. So we've already handled the very, very first step beyond ingesting the data into our topic. From here, we can of course, I've logged out. Uh, let's see. Try again, please. Let's try this again. From here, uh, now that we have embeddings from our knowledge documents, again, if we go back to that architecture diagram, we just created knowledge embedding, embeddings chunked from these uh, knowledge documents in this track. From here, we want to send those to a vector database. And for that, we're gonna use MongoDB. We uh, use built-in connectors as part of Confluent Cloud that are super easy to use. Uh, here we have the MongoDB Atlas Sync Connector. And what this allows us to do is to create essentially an external table within Flink 
that we can reference and that we can pass its values in in the next step when we ultimately do a vector search. And so uh, you set up an API key and you connect to this, it's very easy. You simply specify the uh, collection name and the database name you're using. In my case, it's KnowledgeDB and Knowledge. And then you load your documents and here they are. So we started with all of these documents and here we have document ID and name uh, to keep track of which text chunks belong to, to what. And we then have embeddings too, these huge, huge vectors of 1,500 some odd uh, points. And uh, it kind of boggles the mind when you think about it with how many dimensions there are. Uh, but that's what enables them to be so accurate. So from here, we can use the vector search function within uh, Confluent Cloud and Flink. Of course, it's having trouble logging me in. And I showed a bunch of, I had a bunch of these teed up. Give me one moment here. All right. So let's go to Flink here and take a look at these statements. This is what I had queued up earlier. All right. So we have gotten the data into those embeddings, right? And then we use ML predict here to actually call the embeddings uh, to have those created. It calls out to OpenAI, uses the embedding model. That's the, the uh, function that does it here, this ML predict function. And we do a lateral table. It just adds that on to the existing table that has the message and all that. Next, we create the message prospect rag results table. Here we actually are doing the vector search. You'll see that we have vector search right here in the SQL statement. And what we're doing here is we're passing the message in, the speaker, and we're getting back those search results, which come in the, in the form of those three chunks of text. And those are gonna be the basis for our response later on. Next, we can, uh, in the final step of our process, and again, I'll go back to our original architecture here. We just talked about this, getting our RAG results back by running the vector search. The final step in our process that involves the LLM is we're going to use GPT-40 mini to, and we're going to pass it in all of the context that we just uh, retrieved through this vector search. And we do that, there we go. We do it with this statement. We have a big, huge prompt for, for this LLM which is gonna generate a response for us that you saw earlier in the UI. And what we do is we pass in the message that the uh, prospect sent in the chat or said live in a sales meeting and was transcribed through speech to text. We, we pass in those RAG documents, those three documents and the chunks from them, including what those documents are so we can reference them as well. And then we ask for a JSON response back so that it's easy to have a standard data format that these responses take that we can then pass through to our UI. So that's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good, gives you a pretty good sense of sort of how we call these functions in Azure OpenAI to do the embedding and to do the ultimate uh, inference at the end that's contextually aware, that's grounded in your documents, and it really works rather well. Um, and to give you some technical highlights, this is completely event-driven. As new documents are added, they're automatically processed and available for retrieval. So you can modify documents, you can add new ones, uh, you can remove documents from your corpus, and uh, they, those changes are propagated downstream. 
Uh, vector search happens within seconds through Flink SQL's AI functions. Uh, these call out to powerful models, as you've seen, and they're very capable. And I've been really surprised and, and quite happy, actually, with how, how well uh, the, re the vector retrieval and, and search has, has done, creating contextual information. Um, and I think Confluent, just to wrap up here, since uh, we've gone over the, the architecture now, um, this is the kind of app that I think more folks can and should build on Confluence data streaming platform, and here's why. First of all, everything's event-driven. When a customer speaks, has, says something new, has an objection, that's an event. When documents update, that's an event. And our platform is built to handle those sorts of streams reliably. Second, Flink SQL lets us process these events with simple SQL, no complex, you know, coding or, um, you know, esoteric formulas needed, right? I showed you the Flink actions from earlier that make it really easy to do embeddings. And uh, there's a couple simple uh, SQL uh, commands that you can use to bring it all together. And third, I think the connector ecosystem really pulls this whole thing together and makes it much, much easier than trying to build complex custom integrations, keep things working, and all that. With, uh, we ultimately also land, I forgot to mention, we land the data ultimately in, uh, in Cosmos DB at the end of the day when we're all done with it because the messages and responses are very, very valuable for retraining your model later, uh, additional context, that sort of thing, as well as you know an audit trail and all that. So here you can see we have the messages, prospect, rag, LLM. It's very wordy, but I assure you the messages themselves and the responses that we get back from the system are all uh, maintained there. And we use the Cosmos DB sync uh, through Confluent Cloud to be able to do that. So to wrap up here, uh, I think this is an innovative way to do something really useful with the data stream platform, but I think it's just the beginning and I think you all are, are creative folks and I hope this has just inspired you a little bit to try something like this because it's really easy to get started on the data streaming platform. Flink SQL has these great functions that make it um, really uh, have, you know, it's a great experience. And uh, I don't want this demo to end here. There's a fantastic uh, GitHub repo that you can check out that has all of this, all of this on it, including uh, Terraform that you can use to easily spin this up and try it yourself. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, with that, have a great day. Bye.